Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com. Alright, off location still, but we're going to do a good beer review tonight. So, this is a bomber bottle that is very unique. This is going to be a long video, FYI. Because this is something that I think a lot of the breweries are starting to do. I think it's extremely wise. They're collaborating. So they're getting together and they're saying, let's brew a beer together. Um, I think it's great for marketing. I think it's great for craft beer. Um, this beer is a collaboration with Heavy Seas and Stone Brewing Company. It's obviously a bomber bottle. It's an Imperial Brown IPA. ABVs are 9%. IBUs are 90. So you have an Imperial IPA at 90. Throw in some malt, make it brown. And uh, this could be very interesting. So Heavy Seas is out of Baltimore. Right, if you're watching this video, I don't have to tell you anything about Stone Brewing Company. Yeah, they're one of the top five uh, craft beer companies, in my opinion, in the entire uh, country that have really, really put craft beer on the market. And Joy By, two years in a row, has been my number one beer uh, that I've reviewed on my YouTube channel or website. So, again, I have some really kind of a background interest in what this beer is going to be like. So, again, it's a bomber bottle. I bought this, um, when did I buy this? I bought this about beginning of January of 2017, and it was probably like a week old. Um, so again, I'm going to tell you a lot about this beer before, before I open it. Um, again, so they collaborated together because they wanted to have this adventure. Um, uh, this is brewed with black strap molasses in the kettle to give a chewy malt character, uh, layers of American hops, um, and it, it what's kind of cool about this is Stone always has kind of these really kind of cynical descriptions. It's a blurry palate, uh, obliterating Imperial IPA. It said, our partnership with Clean Water Fund celebrates the connection between clean water and great beer. Without clean water, there is no beer. Amen to that. Your Heavy Seas purchase supports programs to protect clean water in your state and in the region where this beer was brewed. Again, that's Baltimore, Maryland, and Heavy Seas. But again, it's one of those marketing things that I think is genius. So this beer, I believe according to the Best Buy date on here, is good for about 90 days. Um, and again, I, 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 most beers, unless it specifically says seller, these stages with the lack of preservatives in craft beer, you don't want to you don't want to store it anyway. Um, so anyway, um, let's see what else I can tell you before we get into it. It's got Centennial, Palisade, Citra, Chinook, and Simcoe hops, which again I think is genius. You're taking an Imperial Brown IPA and you're throwing in Citra hops, which are tradi traditionally a more aromatic and um, tropical hops. But you're pulling in, in a brilliant way, the, the, the what I call the foundations of Centennial and Simcoe hops. So this this could be extremely interesting. It's got two row UK amber malts, brown malts, and crystal malts, which three of those are pretty standard. But if you're gonna, if you again, if these guys know how to brew beer. If you're gonna throw in an Imperial IPA. And then make it brown. Those are the malts, uh, and you know, to kind of give it that good backbone. So, anyway, I've chattered enough already at this point. Um, the I, I I haven't cheated. I haven't tried it. I've read very little beer reviews on it. Um, it does have a heavy seas cap on the top. It says heavy seas climb aboard, established in 1995. So let's get it into a glass and see what we got here. I think. And again, the price point here was not outrageous. I think it was like nine or ten dollars for the bomber, which these days is nothing when it comes to bombers. So very brown, uh, nut brownish looking, um, nice kind of dark caramel color. Very little head on this beer. Um, it dissipated real quick. It definitely laces the glass, so you can definitely see that. Um, but again, very little head. I, I can't see my hand. You probably can't. So it definitely has some some denseness to it. Oh god, this smells good. Um, very nutty, kind of pecan, hazelnut, malty, obviously, 
some breadiness to it. Man, that smells great. Um, smells more like what it should, a nut brown. Definitely has a, a lot of nut characteristics to it. Can't really smell the hops at all. But honestly, it smells really good. It, it, it kind of has the the uh, the aroma of like freshly baked bread almost. It's uh, definitely got some... It smells great. It smells very fresh. So cheers. Let's get into the glass. That is not at all what I expected. It's got a lot of pecan, definitely some hazelnut. Um, it's got a nice, very, very bitter. It's very bitter on the front of the tongue. A little bit of chocolate, maybe a little bit of coffee. Um, definitely, I definitely can kind of taste the coffee now. Um, I can't really taste the hops at all, to be honest with you. Now, in all defense of this, I mean, it's an imperial brown IPA, and brown IPAs typically have, you know, that abundance of the malts. Um, it's got, it's got almost a light mouthfeel to it, um, definitely not heavy at all. More, I would almost call this more on the porter side. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of sugariness to it, a little bit of that chocolate coffee that I can still taste in my mouth that's kind of lingering, but it, it's... It dissipates real quickly to the point where it's not, uh, again, overpowering to the palate. There's zero booziness. Zero. Um, at 9%, you cannot taste any of it. Um, which, in my opinion, and if you watch any of my other beer reviews, I'm very open in saying if breweries know how to brew beer well and complex, that should be gone. Which is what Stone does extremely well, in my opinion. And Joy Buy, I think, is, again, one of the best beers on the planet. Always will be, in my opinion. I've said it twice on this, this video already, and we're not even drinking it. Um, and they know how to brew beers to where there is this, this, this amazing uh, uh, palatability with a beer that's big, but it doesn't overwhelm, doesn't overwhelm your palate. So... I gotta tell you, this is good. Um, I don't drink a lot of brown ales because I'm not big on too much nuttiness. I think this is a good blend. You can't really taste the hoppiness, but again, it's brewed very um, complimentary for what they're going after. I love the fact that these two breweries got together to do this. Um, I'm big on supporting breweries and supporting kind of the cause. Uh, for you know, expanding craft beer and expanding what uh, the breweries are trying to accomplish. So, I would honestly buy this again. Um, I really like it. I think it's easy to drink. I think again, there's very little booziness to it. The blackstrap molasses, you can definitely get that sweetness in there, but it's got a very, very good complementary um, kind of nuttiness, sweetness maltiness, breadiness that I think is very, very well done. So um, I would buy it again. So let us know um, what you think about it. I would probably, we rate a beer to one and five. I would probably give this for its class of beer a four out of five. I think it's extremely well done. Um, if you try it, leave comments on your YouTube channel or website. We upload all the time. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.